theme is stopping and starting. That is quite often due to just the connection speed with Facebook, so there's not very much that we can do about that. You can hop over to YouTube though and you might get a better quality on there. It's sometimes just to do with the connection and it is beyond our control, to be honest. Right then, and I have to say as well, we literally started this live and we are in the middle of a storm outside right now. <laughs> like, it is raining so heavily. But we're going to keep going. Like I say, hop over to YouTube if you're having problems on Facebook and you may be able to catch up on there. You might get a better signal. The exact same broadcast is going out on both channels. Okay then, so we are going to get started. So as promised, last week, as you know, we had a few technical issues. I was full of cold. It was a great Facebook Live um, and it cut us off halfway through. So as promised, I'm going to talk you through the 8x8 embossing folders and the gorgeous new die sets again. Now a little update on the die sets and the I Need It All collection. We have unfortunately sold out of both the oval and the rectangle die sets but please do not panic if those are the two that you want we've got more on the way and they're due back with us around the end of march time and um, so they are on their way to us so hopefully it won't be too long to wait and when they do come back in we will restock some of the i need it all collection as well so the new goodies that launched on the website last week we did have four dies but i've only got three here to show you were all of these gorgeous goodies so We've got this beautiful decadent dot embossing folder, which is gorgeous. It's this beautiful dotty pattern that is going to be perfect for um, creating your backgrounds on your projects. We've got a lovely fan design as well. So this is eight by eight in size, absolutely gorgeous. We've then got the scalloped and pierced rectangle eight by eight die set. The eight by eight scalloped and pierced square die set and we've got the 8x8 scalloped and pierced circle die set and we did have an oval as well but the oval has gone it will be back at the end of march i'll pop the overhead camera on let's let's see how this is working there we go Ooh, there we go so you can see these are the brand new die sets so we've got the scalloped and pierced circles which is this one here so our 8x8 dies all come on a magnetic storage sheet and those storage sheets fit in our gorgeous binders. So you can get your um, these beautiful, you can get one of our gorgeous binders and then you get these lovely pockets to go inside which you can pop your dies in to keep them all nicely stored. So we have got the lovely scalloped and pierced circles. So some of you may already have these dies at home, but it's got a lovely small scallop around the edge. So you get a scalloped and then a pierced die. So what that means is for matting and layering, you're gonna be able to pop these together absolutely perfectly. They're gonna work so, so well. Let me grab a finished sampling to show you. So if I show you this one here, if I hold it up, can you see? There we go. Can you see the detail on the dies there? So you've got this lovely small little scallop and then you've got this beautiful um, pierced edge as well, which is gorgeous. And on this sample, you can see Christine's used that decadent dot embossing folder too. Really, really lovely. So we've sized these dies to fit on your eight by eight card blanks. So they're actually sized about seven and three quarter inches square across. So that means you can use the largest one to stick onto your base card. So we've got the scalloped and pierced circles. We've then got the scalloped and pierced squares. So again, this is going to be an essential. In your craft box, you're going to use this one all the time. It's absolutely fabulous for doing your mats and layers, makes it super easy. And if you're not great at cutting straight mats and layers, these dies are going to be a game changer for you. We've then got the lovely um, scalloped and pierced rectangles as well. So we've sized these slightly differently to our previous rectangles. So we've actually sized these at six by eight, so they'll fit on a six by eight inch card blank. These are really lovely. They go so well with the statement sentiments as well that we've got coming up. And again, it's the same small scallop with the pierced edge on these ones too. So that's your scalloped and pierced rectangles. And then we would have an oval set as well, but unfortunately that one has sold out, but will be back very soon. So to show you the embossing folders too, 
we have got the beautiful decadent dot design. So these are eight by eight in size. You are gonna need an A4 die cutting machine to use these. They are super duper easy to use. You're gonna just pop your card in the middle, run it through your machine with the plates, and it's gonna give you that beautiful embossed effect. I think just over at the other side, I might have some embossed samples that I'll just be able to show you just over there. <laughs> just pointing out to Becca there where they are. We've been moving things around. So I've got some on pearl card and some on mirror card as well. And they are absolutely gorgeous. So this is your decadent dot design, thank you. We've got the lovely 2D embossed design folder. Absolutely gorgeous. So you can see the, the, the depth and the detail that you've got in here. This is gonna be perfect to use all year round. It's gonna be one of those where you just run it through your die cutting machine and you are going to use it so, so much on all of your finished projects. You're gonna be able to glitter over the top of this if you want to. You're gonna have lots and lots of things that you can be doing with this gorgeous embossing folder. So that one is the Decadent Dots. And we've also got the fabulous fan as well. And these have been so, so popular since we launched these last week. We did have a big stock of them as well. And I think around about half of each design has gone now. Um, so they have been a phenomenal success. We've then got the fabulous fan 2D embossing folder as well. And this is gorgeous. You've got that lovely kind of fan design, very Art Deco inspired. So you can see this one here on the map mirror. So that's this one. So you can have it up that way or you can turn it round and have it this way as well. So you can be using it in lots of different ways. On your pearl card, it's gonna work absolutely perfectly too. It's just a really beautiful design. And if you want to go in and glitter this up as Christine has done on this finished sample here that we had up on the blog, this went up last week. You can see how gorgeous that's gonna look, but you can see the depth that you've got on the embossing of these two. Really, really lovely. Okay, so they were all of the new products that launched last week. So they were the new dies and the new embossing folders. So lots of you have probably already got these, are crafting along with them at home. Get sharing your mates in the Facebook group. We love to see what you create. So that's those. I'm gonna pop a little finished sample just in on the screen so that you can have a look at this while I grab the statement sentiments because these are brand new. Right then, there we go. I think we're good to go there now. Sorry, I'm just getting used to like all of the new, new technology and new bits and pieces that we've got now. So, launching tonight at six o'clock on the website is going to be these beautiful statement sentiment stamps. And we know that lots of you have been looking and seeing these on the finished samples and you have been absolutely loving them. So, we've got... 13 designs in total. Now, me being very superstitious, I don't know why we've done 13. I feel like we should have done 14 or 12. But anyway, we've got 13 designs in total. These are all 7 dollars each, but we're going to have a mix and match offer on the website. So you're basically going to be able to like build your own bundle. So if you buy five of these or more, you'll get 15% off. Okay, so it'll take the price down for you. That'll automatically apply in your shopping basket. You don't need to do anything. You don't need to add a discount code or anything like that. The only thing is you can't use that in conjunction with Sparkle Points as it's classed as a promo code. Okay then, so I'll pop the overhead camera on and then you will be able to see these beautiful designs. I'm gonna take you through step by step, but just to give you an idea of kind of the concept behind these stamps. So you may remember last year we did a beautiful um, box kit with, pra with Practical Publishing and it was the Christmas one and it had a gorgeous A6 embossing folder in there that said Merry Christmas. So when we designed that embossing folder we were like, huh, this would make a gorgeous stamp and would look amazing if you stamped and embossed it because you had all of that space to go and fill in with your glitters and things like that. So that's where these came about. And then it was like, there's some occasions that are maybe a little bit more difficult to make cards for, or there's not maybe 
many materials available. So we thought we could do these statement sentiment stamps. So you've kind of got these in your stash, so they're good to go for when you need to make those kind of cards. And we've also done some nice like generic sentiments as well. So they're gonna work perfectly with your floral designs and all of those beautiful flowers that we know you love creating at home. So we are going to pop the overhead on. So bear with that button there. There we go. Right, so these are the new designs. So they're all A6 in size, so they're a really nice large design, okay. So we've got thank you so much as the first one, and this is lovely. So if I flip that round, you can see the size of that design. These are beautiful, stamped and embossed, and then you can go and infill elements with your glitters, which is what I'm gonna show you how to do. We have then got Sending you a little sunshine, which we just thought was a lovely sentiment. Like, if you just want to send someone, if you've got maybe it's a little bit of a difficult occasion to make a card for, or if you just want to send someone a card to cheer them up, sending you a little sunshine will be perfect for that. You can do it with all of the lovely yellows and oranges that we've got in some of the paper pads too. So that is sending you a little sunshine. We've then, of course, and I think this one's going to be really popular, sending you a little sparkle. Like that is just perfect to go with all of the styles of cards that we make. So again, really nice large design and that sparkle is the key word that you're gonna be able to infill. Really, really lovely. So if I flip that back round, you'll be able to see. So that one is sending you a little sparkle. We then of course have to have happy birthday too. But when we've designed this, we've not kind of made it too feminine. We've kept it so you could use it for men's birthday cards as well. And actually for the next box kit magazine, number 15, I've done some projects, I've done like a man's project with this particular stamp. And um, so that'll be perfect for those two. So that one is happy birthday. So you can see this one's embellished with little stars and swirls. Next up, we've got happy anniversary. So again, a really nice sentiment, a nice kind of, again, a statement for the middle of your cards. They nest perfectly in the middle of your, um, your nesting dies as well. So you're gonna be able to cut these into different shapes and things like that too. So that's happy anniversary. Next up, we have got congratulations on your wedding day. So again, a little bit different. So on here, we've actually popped the two wedding rings on as well, which is really nice. And these are lovely for making some quicker cards too. So then again, you can see the size of this one and that wedding day is the key phrase on this one too. Next up, we've got congratulations on your engagement. Again, this is a one where I think like um, you, you maybe struggle for finding a card or finding card making materials for an engagement. So this is a really handy one to have in your stash. We've kind of added like these little starry diamonds in the background as well. So you can be going in and you can be adding your glitter onto those or you can be, be adding some, um, some jewels as well if you want to. So when we flick that over, we've got congratulations on your engagement and again, that lovely large A6 stamp. Next up, we've got on your christening day, so again, this one's a little bit a, a little bit harder to find things to make cards for a christening with. So we thought if you've got this really lovely kind of large statement sentiment, it's going to be perfect. You can then build your elements around it. So if you want to use your flowers or maybe if you've got some other little embellishments and things like that, you can be using that with these. So on this one, we've got on your christening day and then we've got the little um, the heart, the bow and the little crosses embellishing this one too. We've then got, let me have a little look, we've got with caring thoughts of you next. And this is a one that we thought was really lovely just to send to someone to say like you're thinking of them or if someone's going through a little bit of a difficult time. With caring thoughts of you, it's a really lovely sentiment to use for something like that. So again, you've got this lovely large statement sentiment that you're gonna be able to stamp and emboss. You can then infill the care and thoughts part. And of course, you can then embellish that with your flowers and things like that too. So that is that design. Next up, my word, I feel like I'm speaking so much today. We've got um, a baby shower. 
uh, sentiment as well. So we've got It's Your Baby Shower. So again, this is perfect. And I actually was at a baby shower recently and I, I made the card with this stamp. Um, we didn't know if it was a boy or a girl. So what I did is I did it in silver and then infilled baby shower in silver, but then put lots of little um, pink and blue dots behind. So just to make it a little bit different. So again, that's a really lovely stamp, super useful. And I think baby showers are becoming more popular now as well. So that one is the baby flower, baby shower stamp. Next up, of course, we've then got congratulations on the birth of your baby boy and congratulations on the birth of your baby girl. And again, these are lovely sentiments just to have in your stash. You can make these cards quite quickly as well, just by stamping, it, stamping and embossing and then layering it up. And then finally, the last one, but we have got more ideas to do more of these if you like them, is well done. So this one's well done, you did it. So again, really lovely sentiment. You could be using this for graduation, for like um, a new job. You could be using it for passing your driving test. There's lots and lots of different occasions that you're gonna be able to use this one for. Again, it's that lovely, nice, large A6 size. So it's gonna be absolutely perfect for creating the focal feature on your projects. So those are all of the new statement sentiment stamps. They will be available tonight from 6pm. They're all £7.99 each, or if you buy five or more, you can do the mix and match, save 15% offer. So that is the Statement Sentiment Collection. So what I'm going to do, I'll pop a little graphic in, just with some finished card samples, so you can have a little look at these. And I will get my bits and pieces ready for a demo to show you how to use them. So I'm going to put the microphone off just as I do this. Right then, so I've got all of the bits and pieces ready for the next demo. So I'm going to be making this card here. So I will, I'll do this demo and then I'll show you some of the finished samples because we've got loads. I've got a few dotted behind me here, but I've got a couple of stands as well that I want to take you through and show them. Of course, as always, we have got all of the finished samples photographed and they will be going up on Facebook over the next couple of weeks. And we've got lots of blog projects coming as well. And we'll be doing some YouTubes now we're all set up in here. So it's all good. So we'll get started. I'll pop the overhead camera on because it's probably a little bit easier for you to be able to see me. So let me just switch that out. There we go. So we're gonna start off by taping an eight by eight card blank. So I've got one here. The ones that we use are the Craft UK ones, just to give you an idea for the sizing. I'm gonna just move my iPad out of the way. Just move it to the other side of the desk. I'll just shuffle some things around here. going to take a little while to get used to the new setup I think. So what we're going to do is we are going to take our 8x8 eight eight card blank to start with and I've got my fold at the top and then I'm going to take my scalloped square dies. So I'm going to start off with the largest die and I'm going to overhang it over the edge of the card blank. I'm going to grab some low pack tape Like 
so. And then we're going to take our Gemini plate. So with these guys, I just had to use my base plate, my plastic shim, my card um, with the die, and then my cutting plate on the top. And then I just run this through my machine. So just run that through and then we'll grab that when it comes out the other side. There we go. And then we'll lift that off. Just remove the waste. Then you can see we have started. Oh no, my little chap tape stuck some card bit there. There we go. We started to create our own card blank. So what I'm going to do is die cut another one of these squares to stick on the top because we've got that straight edge at the moment and we don't really want that. So I'm going to grab, I've got a piece of crystal white pearl card. So we'll take that and we'll die cut this square from the crystal white. So same plate combination. I'm just going to run that through. Grab this from the other side. So we'll get that stuck onto there. I'm going to cut all my mats and layers first and then we'll do the sticking together. So I always work with my 8x8 dies on the magnetic sheets as well. So I'll stick that one back down. We're going to take the next one, which is the lovely Pierce die, and we're going to take some um, map mirror card. Tape this down and I'm going to run that through. Like so. And see a few of the eagle eyed amongst you have spotted the relative styles. They will be coming soon. If you sign up to our late email newsletter, give us a like on Facebook, follow us on YouTube, you'll be the first to know when those styles are coming out. lift this one out and you can see if I hold that up to the camera look at this the luxury of the overhead can you see the pierce detail along the edge here it's absolutely beautiful it's going to add an extra little dimension to your projects so we're going to pop that one down there put that back onto our magnetic sheet and then we're going to grab the next layer in which is the lovely scalloped design so it's slightly smaller but you can see how easy this makes your mats and layers so we're going to pop that onto there and then run this one through so i wanted to kind of show you from start to finish how these work perfectly together There we go, so just grab that at the other side and then lift that one out. Get rid of that bit of paper and pop our die back onto there. So we're actually finished with the square dies for now. So we'll pop those ones back away. And then we're going to take that lovely pink scalloped design. Actually, this matches my little cardigan very nicely. So we're going to take that lovely um, square and we're going to pop that into the embossing folder. And this is where this is what I love about embossing folders. It's absolutely magic. So you, you take this lovely plain card, you're going to pop that inside the embossing folder, sandwich that between your plates, and then you're going to run that through. So I'm just using my two, two clear or two white plates now with the Gemini. I've treated myself to some new plates seeing as we've got a whole new setup. I thought, well, I think we better, we better treat ourselves. They were looking a bit like bananas. So there we go. And then when we lift that out, look at the effect. It is so, so lovely. So you've got that beautiful embossed dot design. 
And if you like these embossing folders, which I really hope that you, you do, we've got lots and lots of these kind of in the works um, and some new designs as well. So hopefully you all like them. Okay then, so next up we're going to take this um, scalloped and pierced circle set and we're going to take the sending you a little sunshine stamp. So I'm going to have a look and see which die is going to match. That one's probably going to fit the best. So we'll take that one and we take that one. So we're going to take a little bit of matte mirror card. See, there's a question coming asking, can you use the new Gemini 2 plates in the original Gemini? Yes, you can, because that is what I'm using right now. So I've got the Gemini 2 plates and I've got the original old Gemini. So, I'm going to sandwich that one in and run that through. And then I think we'll do a little bit of stamping. So, we'll grab this at the other side. So if you joined me, was it last week or the week before? Honestly, I feel like the last couple of weeks have just been an absolute blur. There's been so much going on. Um, you'll have seen that we started this card but didn't get it finished. So here we are completing it all today. So we're going to take a clear embossing ink pad. So this is the wow one. And I've also got my little... Um, anti-static bag as well. I am actually going to take my um, little reinker too. So we do sell these on the website where you can just reink your ink pad. So it's like a little roller ball and you basically just lightly roll over the ink pad and that then reinks it and refreshes it. So if you're finding that your ink pad is a little bit dry, I would definitely recommend going for one of those as well. So we're going to take our sentiment stamp and we're going to take a piece of crystal white pearl card. It's completely up to you if you want to stamp first or you want to die cut first. I'm going to stamp first this time. So I've dusted over my card with my anti-static bag. I've then taken my stamp and I've got it mounted onto my acrylic block. I'm going to ink my stamp up like so. There we go, and then we're going to place this down and press. So, so you want firm, even pressure all over the stamp. Like so, then we're going to lift that off, and I'm going to use a little bit of polished silver super fine embossing powder. So we're going to just sprinkle that over the top, I'm going to tap away the excess, I'm going to try and carefully pop that back into the jar. Just give that a little, little flick to get rid of any excess and then where I've got my grubby fingerprints around the edge, I can just take a dry paintbrush and brush that away. So then we are going to take our heat tool. Still getting used to this new setup as well. It's uh, oh, I don't think my heat gun's quite going to stretch. I might just have to move it over here a little bit just while we heat this up. starts to melt and change I'm just going to move the heat gun for the image I think that's all done I'm still getting used to the lights in here as well it's like it looks a little bit dark and shadowy on your screen but it's actually like dazzling when you're looking at them 
we are actually waiting in a couple of more lights to come as well but that's another story so <laughs> you can see here how lovely and reflective that polished silver embossing powder is it is gorgeous so we're then going to take that die i'm going to pop that over the top and i'm going to take a little bit of blow tack tape okay and we're going to tape this down into place and there we go and then we're going to take our plate and run this through Just wait for that and grab it at the other side. Okay, and then we're getting that all ready to layer up. I've just realised I've just like put that out the way there and didn't even show you. So there we go. You can see how we've got that all nice and die cut now. So what we're now going to do is infill that lovely sunshine with a little bit of glitter. So let me grab my Dries Clear Glue. So you can just go in with your Dries Clear Glue. I'm just getting the end off mine here. There we go. And then we're going to use the glue and we're just going to infill. Try to be really careful so you don't just get a close up on my roots here try to lean back as I glitter <laughs> so we're just going to infill the sentiment like so a little bit of glue stuck on the end there we go and by using the metal tip and embossing the outline first it makes it so so easy to just go around and infill just like this Just infill the detail. Some of the words. There we go. Working all the way around. And then we're going to take a little bit of um, Mexican sunrise glitter. So this is a really lovely one. It is like an orange, but it's got reflective pieces in. So it's a little bit more of a matte glitter, but it still has the sparkle. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to have to just use, see if I've got a little bit of scrap paper anywhere. Okay, I'm just going to use the back of my bit of embossing here. Sprinkle the glitter over the top, like so. So then we can pop that back into the jar. Now, of course, this wouldn't be a flowy card without that little bit more glitter. So I'm going to go in and I'm going to take. Crystallina, good old Crystallina, it's the one that we can't craft without, isn't it? So take a chisel tip glue pen, I'm going to just drag around the edge of this shape. Like so. cover that in the glitter there we go and then I'm going to take my pink flare as well that is embossed and we're going to drag along the edge and just glitter this one as well 
if you wanted to glitter this pattern, you would just go in with your dry clear glue, pop your glitter on where you want on the embossing, and then um, cover it with your glitter. Like I say, we will be doing lots more YouTube videos um, and things like that, so please do keep an eye on the channel and keep a check on Facebook as well, because we're always posting lots and lots of content on there. Right, so we'll start to stick our card together now. So just pop the, the lid on my glitter. Look at this, I'm keeping all, keeping all tidy as I go as well. It's all very impressive. So I've got my little flower that's already made up and I've got my little bow and some other bits and pieces. So, let me move that scrap paper out of the way. We'll take our base card in. So we'll get this piece stuck on first. So this is what's going to give us that lovely scalloped edge all the way around. So as always, I'm going to use a bit of Kalal all-purpose glue. We don't actually sell this on the website, but you can get it on places like Amazon and things like that. So just a little bit of glue on the base card. So, and then we're going to start and stick this down. There we go. That's the first layer down. And then I'm going to take some foam pads onto the next layer. These are, of course, our foam pads on a roll, which are amazing. They are so, so good. They're nice and finger lift, so they're really nice and easy to peel the backs off. So I'm going to put foam pads on there. Also going to pop it onto the next layer as well. Next one. I do like a little bit of dimension on my projects, you know. I like to get them all nice and built up. Okay, so what I'm then going to do is take the backs of the foam pads We're then going to take a few more foam pads because why not and we'll stick that topper on so that's our lovely sending you a little sunshine there we go and then I've got a flower that we'd already made up, so I'm going to stick that on in the corner. Do this with a little bit of pin flare. Look at this brand new tube as well. I am getting treated today. A little bit of glue on the back and then I've got some of our little sparklers in a little jar over here so I'm going to grab one of those out that's going to go in the middle of the flower if you haven't tried our sparklers as well 
they are so so lovely definitely get adding some of those into your order they're quite they're not they're not too big they're quite small so they are perfect for just dropping in the middle of your flowers and things like that I've then got some little leaves these are from the leafy foliage die set so I'm going to tuck that one in there and then I'm going to tuck this one in here and just take a little bit of the berry foliage I've just snapped the end off there so it's a little bit easier to glue and I'm going to stick that on here a little bowl that I've already tied to go up in the top corner and of course I'll finish that off with a little sparkler one up there and then to finish this card off I'm going to take some little um, pearls pearls that I'm going to use are from um, the candy bling box and the leafy lace bling box okay and then I'm just going to take my glue and just dot some little dots of glue just into the background do three in the corners as well because because we can and then we're going to take glue there. I'm going to grab my tweezers. I'm going to stick these down onto there. I'm using like the middle size ones now, just in the corner. And then we'll take these other ones. I'm gonna end up pinging these all over the desk here, I can see it. And then we just would drop those into the background. Got a few pink ones as well. of these ones as well so I'm gonna pop these on like so and then you can see how that would then be your completed project there we go I'll pop those little bling boxes back away so that is sending you a little sunshine. So that's using the brand new Statement Sentiment stamps along with the beautiful scalloped and pierced die sets and the embossing folders as well. So that's a right little mixture of everything all together there. So again, as we always do with the launches, what I'll do is the cards that I make today, we'll just randomly pick some orders and pop them in. So if you place an order tonight or for any of the new products, and um, we'll probably run it over the weekend as well, we'll pick out some orders at random and you'll get, you might get a card in there too. So that one is sending you a little sunshine. I'm going to grab a little graphic just to pop in, just while I get ready for the next demo. Actually, I'll make sure you can finish samples first um, and then I'll get ready for another demo. So I'll be back with you in a moment.
Right then, so I thought now I would show you a few finished samples. So you will see that there are a few behind me on the shelves here, which are gorgeous. Um, I'm not gonna lift these ones down. I'm gonna get them all, they'll all be going up on Facebook. So please don't worry, you're not missing out on anything. I'm gonna walk you through the finished samples that I've got in my little, um, little cubes here. So I'll pop the overhead camera on because that's probably the easiest way to see these. So the one that we've got up first is actually made by my man, Corinne, who is now a crafter. So she's used sending you a little sunshine on here with some of our lovely flowers that she's made. Fits perfectly in the middle of that bubble frame die as well, doesn't it look lovely? And then we've got a, one of the patterned papers. This is a very old one that's in the background there. Next up, we've got that gorgeous circle shaped card from Christine and she has used, look at this, sneak peeks galore today. So she's actually used some new vellum on here and she's also used um, some of the new relative stamps and die sets that are coming soon as well. Next up, we've got this beautiful card as well, which is congratulations on the birth of your baby girl. So you can see how perfectly those scalloped and pierced rectangles work with these dies. It makes a really lovely, quick and easy card. Next up, this is one of Christine's beautiful finished samples, and this is Happy Birthday Granddaughter. And you can see how gorgeous this is. If I hold this up, can you see how she's heat embossed? The background embossing folder, it looks amazing. So by the looks of it, and if Christine's watching, please do correct me if I'm wrong, it looks like she's ran this through her embossing machine to emboss the pattern and then dragged an ink pad over the top and covered it. It looks like sparkling snow wow powder on there, which looks really lovely. And that's using those scalloped and pierced rectangle dies as well. Next up, this is another one of Christine. So this is using that lovely happy birthday statement sentiment in the middle. And then she's used the dies and the embossing folders as well. Really, really lovely. Next up, this is one of Becca's, I believe. And this one is congratulations on your engagement. So you can see how she's used this in the heart design in the middle, which looks fabulous. We've then got another one here showing the congratulations on the birth of your baby girl. Again, all in pinks, really lovely. Using lots of those different frames and using the um, embossing folder in the background as well. Oh, right, I can see Christine's answered me. So on that, um, oh, the comments just gone. <laughs> on the granddaughter card, she used a white ink pad, I think it said, and then covered it with sparkling snow. But Christine's commented on Facebook for that one, so... Have a little look in there. Next up, we've got this one, which is sending you a little sunshine. Isn't that lovely? And that is just what we need this time of year. A little bit of sunshine, really lovely in the lemons and the yellows. Again, Christine's just inked the background here. So dragging your ink pads over the top of that embossing is gonna give you that lovely effect. Next up, we've got this one here. I mean, this, this is just a bling galore it is absolutely beautiful so we've got that lovely fan design in the background and you can see christine's done this as an aperture card how clever is that and then she's used that beautiful embossing folder in the background and some flowers too and then next up we've got this beautiful happy anniversary card isn't that gorgeous all in pink and cream really lovely again using that heart shaped die in the middle and I've got a few more to show you too. So let me just move this little stand out and I'll do a little, little switcheroo. There we go, pop that one there. Just tidy these cards away. Keep tidy as we go in the new studio. There we go. So next up, with these, these all look very white and silver, I have to say, in this little selection. So we've got a beautiful congratulations on your wedding day card here. So this is using the A5 fancy rectangles, I do believe. Using that sentiment in the middle and also using those beautiful flowers as well. Next up, a little thank you card. Thank you so much. How lovely does that look embossed in um, white there as well on the azalea pearl card? It looks really pretty, doesn't it? Really lovely, then infilled with all of your lovely vibrant glitters. 
Next up, we've got the baby shower card. This is lovely. And if you like this, this little lacy edge here, that might be coming soon too. So we've got the lovely baby shower stamp in the middle, and then that's been infilled with silver glitter. Just a bow added to the top as well. How lovely does that look? Next up, we've got this little well done you did it. I think this is one of Becca's and it's absolutely gorgeous. I love how she's added the little star to the bow on here as well. So again, using that sentiment in the middle and just building it out with some patterned papers. Really nice and easy to do. Next up, we've got one for on your christening day. So again, just a small card using that sentiment to make it the focal feature. This one of um, Christine's is gorgeous. It was really challenging to photograph this one. I think we have got a good photo of it though. Um, so I'm not quite sure how the camera is going to pick this up. But she's stamped and embossed the congratulations on your wedding day onto white vellum. Then she's added some glitter and glittered the background. Honestly, in the flesh, this looks so sparkly and beautiful. I'm just not quite sure how it's going to pick up, but you can see how gorgeous that is. And then she's added some little sequins and pearls onto there too. Next up, we've got this lovely baby boy card. So again, all in blues. If you've got any little wooden embellishments at home, you can be using those with these as well. Really, really lovely. Next up, we've got with caring thoughts of you, which again, it's such a lovely sentiment to use on your projects. Really nice, using with your patterned papers, glittering it up. Then we've got congratulations on your baby boy. This is one of Christine's again. So she's in the background. She's used all of those beautiful glitters on there as well. Really, really lovely. And then this is a one that Becca did for YouTube actually. So this one uses more of the scalloped ovals and the embossing folder, but really, really beautiful. So those are the finished samples. We do have more on their way as well. And we've got, of course, as always, we've got lots of blog projects going up. I'll be posting lots of these finished samples over on Facebook as well. So you'll be getting lots of inspiration. Okay, so again, I'll pop a little graphic in just while I get ready for another demo. I'll pop the little statement sentiment stamps price in and the little bundle offer. There we go. I'll just get ready for another demo and then I'll be back with you in a moment. Right then, so next up, I'm going to be making this card using the With Caring Thoughts of You uh, statement sentiment stamp along with the lovely rectangles. Sneak peek, they'll be coming back soon, the rectangles. I have a feeling that I'm, there might be maybe three that I can add onto the website tonight. Um, but yes, this is the beautiful Caring Thoughts of You stamp on this one. So again, I'll pop the overhead back in. This is quite a cool card actually, because we're going to do a bit of technique -y stuff with this one, which is exciting. So, I'm going to start off by, it would help if I put you on the right camera, wouldn't it? There we go, getting carried away already. So I'm going to start by building the little sentiment um, plaque first, I think. So we're going to start off by taking, this is plain white card, so actually for this I quite like just using the back of Centura Pearl, rightly or wrongly, I'm just using the plain side. So what I'm going to do next is take my clear embossing pad and my little anti-static bag, which I feel like I flung over here a minute ago. Indeed I did. 
So we're going to take that antiseptic bag and give that card a little dust over. Like so. And then we're going to take... Now, you've got choices when we do this technique because we're doing a resist. So you can either take clear gloss super fine or you can take opaque bright white super fine. I'm going to go with bright white. So that's this one here. So I'm going to take them out with Care and Thoughts of You stamp. And I'm going to ink that up. So lots of tapping all over the image. And then we're going to take that sentiment, place that into the middle and stamp down. So you want firm, even pressure all over the image. I'm going to lift that off. There we go. We've got that lovely stamp there. We're then going to take a little bit of scrap paper and we're going to cover this with your opaque bright white super fine embossing powder. So this isn't going to look like much to you on camera at the moment, but bear with, it gets better. So I'm going to take my heat gun. I'm going to heat this up. So again, I'll just have to bring this over here while I heat it. We'll just get this all nice and heated up. like I've got that all nicely heated up. So what I'm going to do now is grab in some Distress Ink pads. So I've got Spiced Marmalade, Dried Marigold, Scattered Straw and Mustard Seed. So I'm actually going to start by trimming the topper. So just use my little guillotine to do this. So I'm going to trim along all four sides. Like so. And then we're going to get inking. So, what we're going to do to start with is we're going to take in our scrap paper and we're going to take a bit of spiced marmalade. This is a lovely deep orange. I love spiced marmalade. And we're just going to rub over the image. Like so. So you're going to work your way up. Like so. I might do a little bit more spiced marmalade. I do like this colour, it's a lovely vibrant orange. There we go, so just blend that up so you've got a bit of an ombre going on there. Next I'm going to grab a bit of dried marigold. I'm going to go and grab a couple of different brushes in two seconds.
just been installing some new ones from the other side there. So then we'll take a bit of dried marigold and start to buff that one in. So you're creating like this ombre effect. There we go. And then I'm gonna go with a little bit of mustard seed. So mustard seed is a lovely vibrant yellow. back with my dried marigold and that up a little bit more and then I'm going to take a little bit of scattered straw at the top so again this is like a paler yellow again really So then you can see how we've kind of created this ombre effect across the image. So what I would then do is ideally take kitchen roll. I've got a bathing wipe here that I'm going to dry out with my heat tool. Just get some of the moisture out there. to one side I'm gonna put this to one side and then we can polish it so what we'll do is pop that over there and we'll create the layers for the base card so we'll take our rectangles oh die set oh this is gonna be dangerous having me with shelves nearby especially with glass objects on so we'll go back into our lovely binder as well. Did I mention with the binders that you can pop your embossing folders in the front pocket? It's like when we designed these so many years ago, we knew those embossing folders were coming. So we're going to take the rectangle die, pop my other ones away. So what we're going to do now is take our die set and I've got an A5 folded card blank. So what I'm going to do is take my die and I'm going to overhang it just over the edge again. So this will help to create our shaped card blank. I've got a little bit of low tack tape. Like so. So we'll take that down. And then we'll take our plates in again for die cutting. So we've got our base plate and plastic shim, and then we've got our cutting plate on the top. We're going to run that through the Gemini. another rectangle from just some plain white card just so that then we get the little scallop all the way around rather than just on three sides so we'll take another sheet of card here again and die cut it from the beautiful orange that is in the leafy lace and um, A4 printed paper pad. These are absolutely beautiful these paper pads. So so lovely, beautiful quality and they're so nice for using for your mix and layers. A little bit lighter as well than card but they're still like really they're really nice and thick. So we're going to take the orange and stick this one back onto there. So this is just to create our mats and layers. So we'll run that one back through. And then we'll grab that at the 
the side. And then we're going to take the next guy down in this set, which is this one here. And we're going to take a patterned paper. So we've got a couple of options here. We've got this lovely kind of striped design, or we've got a floral, or we could use the back. The pattern might be a little bit much, so I'm going to use the stripe. So I'm going to take the pierce die, and I'm going to pop those on there okay so we're going to place that down and we're going to place our die in place onto the pattern paper now with the pattern paper we lined i do try and get the die pretty straight so that's that one that's that one And these really are going to be coming essential in your craft box. I think these dies, they are so, so user friendly, so easy to use. And for your mats and layers, it does make a big difference. So we've got all these little bits ready to go now. So what I'm now going to do is just work out the size of the die that I've used on the finished sample. I think it might be about this one looks like to me yeah so we're going to cut this one out of again this is from the leafy lace paper pad so this would just this is just the um yellow version of like that orange paper in effect so we're going to die cut that one out so again taking in place running that through and then we're also going to take a piece of just plain, this is crystal white card. I'm going to take that larger die with the pierced edge and run this through. So, this, take the tape away, slowly get in there. So just wait for that to run through again. And then we lift that out. Put that ready to go. So. so we're going to grab back in our lovely little topper again. And I've got a little bit of kitchen roll here. So I'm just going to take this and I'm going to buff over. The top. And then you can see that that wipes the ink off the embossing and you get this lovely resist effect, which is really, really pretty. So what we're going to start to do now is trim this down so it'll fit in the middle of the um, scalloped rectangle. I'm going to take a bit off each side and I just tend to do this by eye. A little bit more. Remember you can always uh, take a little bit more off but once you've trimmed it you can. It's a bit harder to add back on. So just take a fraction more off the sides and raise a little bit off the top. So yeah, I'm pretty happy with that now. And there we go. So what we'll do next is we'll take the orange paper, the little leftover piece, and we're going to mat this with Care and Thoughts of You onto there. 
So I'm just going to use a little bit of um, cloud glue just onto the back of here. Like so. And then I'm going to stick that down. And I'm going to go back in with my trimmer and just carefully trim. Now, this is what I like about using Kalal glue for doing things like this. If you don't get the borders totally, totally even, you can go back in and just manoeuvre. You've got that little bit of manoeuvrability time to kind of just um, shuffle it about a little bit. So then we'll pop that little trimmer away. Our scrap paper back in. In fact, we're going to get a new bit of scrap paper to work on. We've got some glitter as well. So this looks like it's a, I think I've put the wrong glitter in the wrong pot. Like a yellowy one. Right, give me two seconds because I've got my glitters in rainbow order in this drawer. So I'll go and grab it. It's Peach Melba, the one that I'm using. So I'm going to take my Dry's Clear PVA glue, which is in a rife mess now because I've not put the pin back in properly. There we go. So we're going to take and infill the Caring Thoughts part. So, we're just going to go in and infill this little section with PVA glue. and then we'll do the thoughts part. If you're not quite as quick as I am at infilling as well, you can do one little section, pop your glitter on, and then do the next little section if you want to. You don't need to stress about doing everything all at once, all together. So, you can see how we can just fill this in. So, and then we'll take that peach melba glitter, but once this dries, it's slightly transparent. So you'll get the colour shining through a little bit from underneath, so it'll dry a little bit darker than it looks right now. Okay, we are then going to take our mats and letters and start and get our card all nicely stuck together. So we're going to take the base card and I'm going to put a little bit of glue just onto here so that we can stick the card fronts on. So we've got the second bit of white just to give it that security and make sure that we've got the four scalloped edges. We're then going to take our orange piece, going to pop a bit of glue onto here. And then I'm going to stick that down onto there. So, and then we'll take our patterned piece, we'll pop some foam pads just onto the back of here. And then we're going to tear the back of these. Just notice the time, oh my word, it's 20 past three. If you're watching live. There we go. So, we'll 
we'll then stick this down onto the base card. Like so. And then we're going to stick this one. Also onto there. Okay, and then before we stick this one onto the base card, I'm going to glitter around the edges. So again, I'm going to use my chisel tip glue pen and I'm going to find where I've put my crystallina glitter. So next up, we are going to take our foam pads again, from here. We're going to get the foam pads onto the back of the bag, like this. And then we're going to peel the back. stuck onto our base card. So there we go. And then we're going to take our With Care and Thoughts of You and stick that one on the top as well. And I think the colours of this particular card are really nice and vibrant. Okay, and then we're going to take the backs off there. There we go. And then I'm going to stick this down on top of this, like that. Okay, and then I've got some little um, sequins. I've got some flowers to embellish with. So I'm going to put a large flower at the bottom and then two smaller ones at the top. So what we've done is taken the... Uh, this is the Summer Flower Trio stamp. So we've taken the medium and the small one and we've stamped and embossed them in white onto some of the yellow paper and then just used our ink in the middle like we did with the stamp just to add a bit of colour to the centre. Then we've gone in with some little dots of glue and popped the Peach Melba glitter on there too. So you can see the effect that that then gives. So we're going to just layer this up now. So again, a little bit of pin flare glue stuck on and then we've got these like we use these all the time the little berry sprays I think we released these with the leafy foliage collection but they are so useful tend to snap the bottom bit off and then um, just a little bit of glue on the end and then just tuck them in behind your flowers and they create this lovely little effect you can be kind of going in and glittering them as well if you want to but we can add a little bit of these just into the background like so and then you can take some little orange flowers so these are in the sequin mix I'm sure the best way to go about this I might use them out of the bag till we've used a few of these we thought this little spice jars would look really pretty filled up at the sides which they do but we crammed like three bags of sequins into each one which was maybe a little bit too much with hindsight but I got excited so we're going to take the little um the little orangey sequins and we're going to just dot a couple of these about so you can use glue gel you can use a little bit of pva if you want just um dot these in wherever you fancy really just stick some of these on 
I mean, I have to say as well, I've just seen a comment there saying I've made this card really quickly. A lot of it was prep. So please don't think that we all we, we always make the cards this quick. Sometimes it takes a little bit longer. <laughs> so we're going to take another little orange. These little sequins are so lovely as well. I love using these on our cards. Oh, there's a little extra one. Could go over the top, but I'm gonna gonna stop myself now. So we're now gonna take some little pearls, which are in the leafy lace bling box. So let me grab those in. So take okay, the large ones for the middles of the flowers. If you wanted to actually as well, you could use our stamen die and add some stamen to the centre of those flowers too, which would look really pretty. So a little bit of glue just in the middle. And then I'm going to put a little pearl. That was a terrible root shot there. I leaned in far too far. A little pearl in the middle of the sequins as well. And then few more there and then I'm going to take my tweezers over here and just start to pop the little pearls into place so So I'm going to take these ones and just pop them into the corners like this. Definitely got six out there, didn't I? And I've lost one somehow. I do love these bling boxes. Like they are so, so good. They're jam packed as well with little embellishments. And we try and do like a lot of the hard work for you too by like with the colour matching and things taking the um the stress out of that. Right, so get these all stuck down. And I've got two more, so I'm going to put one more there. I'm going to put one more here. There we go. And that would then be your completed card. So that one is the With Caring Thoughts of You, which is a lovely sentiment. Again, one of those new statement sentiments that will be launching live tonight on the website at 6 p.m so you can see slightly different colors because obviously the ombre is a little bit different but still equally as beautiful okay so i'm gonna pop the camera let me switch that around there we go okay so i hope that you have all enjoyed today's face boot live using the brand new statement sentiment stamps along with the 8x8 scalloped and pierced dies and the beautiful embossing folders as well. All of the brand new goodies will be on the website tonight at six o'clock at chloescreativecards.co.uk. The statement sentiments will be on there, the scalloped and pierced dies will be on there. We have sold out of the oval but there'll be more coming at the end of the month and the embossing folders of course will be on there too. So thank you all so much for joining me. We've got lots of projects going up on the blog. We've got lots of inspiration going up on Facebook. So if you haven't done so already, give us a like and hit subscribe on YouTube. Then you'll be notified whenever we go live or we have a new video. So again, thank you for joining me. Um, and yes, we will see you again very soon. I hope that you all like the new studio. It will be a little bit brighter next time I see you probably. But thank you all so much and I will see you again very soon. Bye!